Hi, Keila here from Soy and Shea and we're back again to make another loaf of soap and today we're using the Summer Melon Spritzer from Aroma. Um, it has various melon fragrances through it including melon, canary melon, cantaloupes as well as apple, pomelo and Japanese grapefruit and it's finished off with tonka bean. Now there's no vanilla in that um, fragrance so we shouldn't get any discolouring so I will be using a base of white and in this bucket here I have got my lye water which I'm going to give a quick blend as I've got some water soluble titanium dioxide in here. Then I'm going to add it to my bucket of oils and then we'll split it out for the colours. Okay, so we've got our soap mixed up to a light emulsion um, and then we've just split it out as I'm using three different colours plus the white base. Now mix my white into my base because often melons are quite a subtle colour apart from um, watermelon. A lot of your cantaloupes and that are quite soft colours. So to do these I've got Tangelo Mica from My Micro Obsession and that's going to be the cantaloupe or rock melon. So we'll put a bit into that one. Okay, so I've also just added a little bit of lime spider mica, and that for me would be the honeydew melon. And lastly, I've got a bit of the really red mica, which will be for the watermelon part of the the melon. So I'll put a bit of that into that end jug there, and we'll give these a quick um, blitz, and then we'll add the fragrance in. Okay, so we've got all of our colours and fragrance and our white mixed together and I'm going to do an in the pot swirl for this one. So I'm just going to add my colours in three different spots. Now I'm a little bit concerned as my white batter has taken on a creamy sort of look despite the fact that there is no vanilla content in this fragrance oil so there must be something else in there to make it take on that colour but we'll keep going and hope for the best. at the end of that one so we're just going to help it along a little bit there. As I'm going to do a pipe top on here I don't need to save any of these colours so I'm just going to take the, as much of this colour out the pot as I can. And just pop it on the top there. And I'm just going to give it a quick swirl with my spatula here. And we're going to grab the mould 
and pour that in. Okay, so I've got my mold here and I'm just going to start pouring this through and hopefully we'll get a nice marbled look. I usually start off pouring quite close and then as I get towards the bottom where I've got more of the white soap, that's when I start to lift up to try and get it to swirl through. I'm just going to give that a bit of a knock down, get those air bubbles out and get the soap distributed through the mould and then I'm just going to give this a little bit of a scrape. As I said, I'm going to be piping the top, so I'm not too worried if the the tops aren't too pretty. to within an inch of their life just mainly because it makes the washing up so much easier and I hate to waste the soap so we'll go and get our piping ready and I'll be back in just a moment right so we're back to do the piping I've got my oils and my live water here I have my piping bag all set and ready to go and I have these little soap balls which I'm going to put on the top to represent melon balls. So let's get started. In my lye water I have mixed in some water dispersible titanium dioxide. I'm going to strain it into my oils this time. I noticed that I still had a little bit of the silk which hadn't dissolved. I got a little bit happy when putting it in that tub today. So whenever I do my piping, I always bring my soap up to a thick trace and then I don't have to wait for as long for it to set up. Um, depending on the fragrance oils, I can pretty much um, get it to a piping consistency um, in a very short amount of time. So just get this stick blender cleaned up and then we'll get the soap into the piping bag and we'll pipe the top. So this is what happened. In the next bit of the video, I thought I hadn't hit the record button properly. When editing, I discovered after blending the piping mix, I'd forgotten to push the stop button, so you got six whole minutes of watching a pot of soap set. When I eventually did hit that record button, I really stopped the video, so you didn't get to see me pipe any of the top, but I do explain what I did, and I will make some more piping videos in the future. I hope not to make this rookie mistake again. So when I pushed the record button on the video camcord, it didn't start recording and I only noticed because it turned itself off from inactivity. So what I did is I made up my piping solution or made up my piping batter and then using an open tip, I just piped on individual dollops. So I have three dollops across each bar. I then knocked it down to flatten that soap out a bit and now I'm going through and adding on oh, all these soap balls which are meant to represent different melon balls so we've got the watermelon the honeydew melon and this one here is an orange one which is meant to represent the cantaloupe or rock melon so I'll just finish popping these on here and then I will go ahead and give it a little bit of a spritz um, with some a very very sparkly mica that I have which looks a little bit like a biodegradable glitter and just adds a really nice sparkle to the soaps. 
Okay, so even though I've pushed all those balls down into the soap to try and get them to stick, I'm just going to give it a quick knock down to make sure that they are stuck. And then I've got my Nurture glitter spray pump here and it's filled with the Blizzard Mica from My Mica Obsession. And I'm just going to give that a good spritz over the top. And there is our Summer, summer Melon Spritzer all done and we'll go in for a close-up in just one moment okay so here it is up close you can see each bar of soap has got its own three melon balls on it and lots of lovely sparkle from that mica so we'll leave it for 24 hours and we'll come back and we'll cut this one tomorrow Hi, so we're back to cut this summer melon spritzer and it smells beautiful. Everything about summer is in this fragrance to me, those beautiful melons that we get. And I'm pretty happy with the looks on the side and the top. So let's cut it open and see what we have. So I'm just lining it up, making sure I'm not going to cut any of those little melon balls. That's looking pretty good. And through we go. Okay. So we've got that cut and in the middle, see we've got a really intense swirl of colours in there from doing that in the pot swirl. I'm really happy with how that has come up. The green has really shown up and that red will hopefully get darker now that it's out in the open and start to really show up. So I'm extremely pleased with how this one's come up. So we've got all the colours of the different melons Plus we've got one each of the melon balls. So I hope you liked the making of this video, despite my little accident of not pushing or pushing the record button at the wrong time. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me any comments down below. And if you'd like to su subscribe to my channel, then I'll have more videos coming up for you shortly. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.